G'day everyone, this is Jason from OBDX Pro and today I'm going to be demonstrating how to pair your Android smartphone to an OBDX dongle. So first off, all we need to do is head to our settings. We then need to click on Bluetooth. We then need to start scanning for new devices. And we can see here my phone's already picked up the OBDX Pro VT. So I'm going to click on that one to start pairing. Then it'll come up with a little message asking if you want to and select pair. Then that's it. That's all you have to do. It's now paired to your, your phone. You don't have to do that once. You don't have to do it again. So we can now actually start using applications. So I've gone ahead and downloaded LS Droid Legacy, which is suitable for reading and writing uh, our new tunes to a supported ECU, such as PA1s and P59s. Or for some live data, we can have a look at Dash Command. So we'll open that one up. This little evaluation notice, press dismiss. Uh, we need to make sure Dashband knows what tool we're connecting to, so we have to click on settings. Scroll down until we see OBD2 data port. Click on that one. Click Bluetooth device. And then we want to click the OBDX Pro VT. So it's already selected here, but click on that one so it's selected. Then we can go back, back, back one last time. And finally, we can click the connect button in the middle. So it's connecting up and detecting the engine computer I have on my bench setup. So this is all on the, on the bench while I demonstrate this. And that's it, we're now connected. So I can now go ahead and click on gauges. You can see some light gauges. I uh, can also go to dashboard. I'll show us a dashboard display. Obviously nothing showing because I'm, I'm not actually driving or moving around at the moment, uh, but it does actually give us some live information there. And uh, that's it for Dash Command. There is many other applications such as Talk and many, many, many other free ones. Just a matter of making sure you select your dongle from there. Uh, otherwise, that's it for getting set up with an Android smartphone. Any questions, please feel free to post below. Otherwise, we'll see you soon.